Hello and welcome to chapter 9. Now we're going to talk about Python dictionaries. Python dictionaries are probably the thing that most programmers love the most about Python uh, because they're very powerful. They're like a little in-memory database. It's the second of our kinds of collections and uh, probably the best collection. To review what a collection is, it is a situation where we are going to have a variable like a list or a dictionary that we can put multiple pieces of information in rather than a single piece of information. And of course, prior to collections, we would put something into X and then we would put something else into X and it would be overwritten. And uh, now with lists, we can append things on to the end. And so if we compare lists and dictionaries, the list is sort of the organized version of the collections. It, everything stays in order, you add something, it always adds to the end, you take something, it sort of compacts itself, it's zero through the n minus one, where n is the number of items, and so it's very organized, kind of like uh, Pringles, where the potato chips are nicely stacked. Um, dictionaries are messier. Um, you can put things into dictionaries, there's no real sense of order in dictionaries, Everything has a key, so you sort of throw things in and they kind of mix around in there somehow and you pull things out based on the key. It's like you, you sort of stick a label on it um, you know, or you say, okay, I'm going to take uh, this thing and I'm going to put Chuck on it and I'm going to take uh, these sunglasses with the Chuck label and I'm going to throw it into the dictionary and I'm going to like, hey, give me back Chuck. I'm like, oh, here's your sunglasses, because you mark everything. This is like the key. This is the value. I took a pair of sunglasses and I threw it in. So it's kind of like a purse, or it's a, a sort of like a mess. And so the idea is, is you have these labels that you put on everything that you're going to throw in. Like, I'm going to put, I hope it won't stick to my keys. You know, what else do I got here? I'm going to stick a label on my pen chuck label and I'm going to store a pen in my dictionary with the chuck label. And so it's like having a, a purse or a bag or a backpack where you have things labeled and you can you can throw things in and label them and you can shout into your bag and say give me the calculator or give me the candy or whatever it is that you have labeled them. You have to come up with the labels and then you can use the labels to get things back out. And like I said they're probably the most powerful thing and and they're basically this concept that's generally referred to as associative arrays, which means they're like lists, but they have these keys. And so the associative means the association between a key and a value. Um, whereas in a list, there's a position and a value. And the position is less powerful and less flexible. Um, most modern programming languages have this notion of associative arrays. If they don't, they're sort of unpopular because uh, once you get using them, you're, you're like, whoa, they're so powerful. If you ever find yourself in a language that doesn't have them, um, you'll you'll freak out. They get have different names like property maps or hash maps or property bags depending on the language you're using, but they all are the same thing. They're key value pairs. So the idea of a dictionary is that, or the idea of any collection is putting more than one thing in, and then the difference is, is that you have ways of, of, of indexing it. So this basically line says let's make ourselves a dictionary just like we constructed an empty list and I want to store 12 into this dictionary and I want to label it money. And so on the left hand side when we use this money that's the label that we're going to give it and so 12 is being placed in the dictionary. That's like taking the 12, throwing it in the dictionary with a label of money. I can't, yeah. 3 is going in with a label of candy and 75 is going in with tissues. And we say what's in there? And there's no order to it, and sometimes it, the order can even change inside of a dictionary. Although there are more advanced versions of dictionaries that maintain some kind of order, but for now let's just not worry about the ordering of them. Um, if we say what's in there, you say, oh, there's three things in there. There is 12, 75, and 3, and stored under the keys money, tissues, and candy, respectively. We can ask, using the index operator, what is purse of candy? And that's like saying, hey, give me back candy, and out comes... Um, uh, the number three, which is at. And we can update stuff. So we can say, Let, go grab the candy version, add two to it, make five, and then store that back into candy. And so now we see that candy has been up to, set up to be five. And, um, <clears throat> and so 
if you look at the difference between lists list and dictionaries, they both can have new items added to them. Um, we haven't talked a lot about deleting, but items can be deleted from them. Uh, the difference is, is the indexing mechanism, how we look things up, how we store things, and how we look things up. So we make an empty list, we make an empty dictionary. We add 21 to the end, and we add 183 to the end, and we ask it and says, oh, position 0 is 21, and position 1 is 180, 183. Do we don't see the positions when we print it out because it's sort of implicit. Here we're going to in, in mark 21 with age and stick it in, and mark 182 with course and stick it in, and then we're going to print it out, and there we got course and age mapped. And we can add uh, a 23 and stick it back in age, and that overwrites, so the 21 becomes the 23. We can do the same thing in a list, except we say lists of 0, because in lists the indexing is position, and so this 21 becomes 23. And again, you just look at them and you can think of each of these as pretty much doing roughly the same thing except the indexing mechanism. The values are the same, but the keys are, the, are, are, are different. So in list, the keys are always the position and you don't get to assign those other than the fact that the order in which you put them in implicitly assigns a position. And in dictionaries, the, the key is a string. You can actually use other things. Uh, I use strings a lot in this lecture, but that's just to kind of keep things simple until you get good at it. Um, you can actually use numbers as the dictionary index, the dictionary keys if you want. But the values are things you put in and manage in those dictionaries. So we can, just like lists, we have dictionary literals. And what's nice about dictionary literals is that they use the exact same syntax as the printout. And so it starts with a curly brace, ends with a curly brace, and then has a series of key colon value, key colon value, key colon value. And this is sort of the associative array bit. We are associating one with the key Chuck. We are associating 42 with the key Fred. We're associating Jan and 100. Then we print it out, it kind of looks exactly the same. And so the print statements in Python are, are nice in that you ask what's in a thing, you show the stuff, and it shows you in the syntax that if you type that into Python, that would be how you do a, um, a constant. And if you just say uh, empty array, you see, uh, you see me also do D-I-C-T. Uh, this is constructor where you say make a new empty dictionary. This is an empty dictionary constant. These two things are pretty much the exact same thing. This is a shortcut to doing this. The, the, the cur empty curly braces is a shortcut to do the um, <coughs> construction. So up next we're going to talk about sort of one of the really common applications of dictionaries, and that is counting.